Mind Thrower was the worst weapon in the original Resident Evil 4. So after seeing that it was getting reworked for the remake, it gave me hope. That hope was quickly shattered. Other than a few boss strategies that really only work in New Game Plus, I realized that it is still just as bad. After completing my first professional mode playthrough, I wondered, can you beat RE4 Remake with only the bolt thrower? For this playthrough, I will not be using flashes, grenades, or any other gun besides the bolt thrower. My original plan was to not use the knife as well, but that changed when I got later into the run due to not having enough ammo to complete certain parts. I only upgraded the durability on the knife and left the power at zero other than for the Krauser fights, but afterwards I sold it to reset the level. Unfortunately, you don't start with the bolt thrower from the beginning of the game, so in the meantime, I ran around, got choked by a homeless guy, stabbed by grandma, and then somehow the same homeless guy found me and tried to make me pass away. Luckily, I made it out with no healing items and just in time for bingo. Bingo? After continuing to run from the entire village and getting robbed, I made it to this Next sketchy merchant welcome. that told me he would trade trash for trash, so that's exactly what I did. With the bolt thrower finally in hand, this challenge would finally start. Holy Jesus! What is that? What the fuck is that? This was the first big room in the run that can be pretty annoying due to the randomness of enemies. I pretty much ran through while trying to grab any valuables that I could sell along the way. Luckily I got bullied by every enemy and didn't have to use any bolts. After disturbing a man's potty time, it was time to save the doggo. I wasn't sure about saving the dog due to it regenerating El Gigante's health, but it just felt wrong to leave the good boy. I then declined a generous offer. Hey, Rick Harrison from Pawn Stars here. Look, the best I could do is maybe a $19 Fortnite card, and I'll even throw in a Travis Scott McNuggie meal, alright? Do we have a deal? <laughs> no! I'm just asking, dude. So in return, he bricked my game. Apparently, he issued a restraining order without me knowing because after trying to return to my beautiful boy, it happened again. Once six months had passed, I was finally able to progress. Now it was time to get to Gaius. Nothing interesting really happened and I was able to get through it with no issues. After getting both heads and putting a fish in my pocket, I visited Rick before heading to the first boss. This was the first difficult part of the run due to the lack of ammo that I had. I could get the dog to spawn, but he would also regen his health, so I just kept running out of ammo. After trying a couple more times, I ventured back and tried to find more resources so that I could craft more bolts. This did not go very well at all, and I actually ended up with less than before. But after some good drops, I was finally able to take him down. Nice. The cabin was a complete resource hog. I tried to use the least amount of mine rounds possible other than for the bull guy, but that was difficult due to the amount of enemies that would be in the cabin at the same time. I restarted it a couple times to try and keep as many bolts as possible, but I came out with about the same amount every time. Eventually I got through it with barely any bolts and healing left. This was one of the parts I was really not excited for because I couldn't use flashes. First I tried to just run through and hope Ashley's goofy ass would teleport, but that would be too easy. Since I wasn't able to leave Ashley behind, I shot a mine when they grouped up and then would save every time I killed a couple of them until they were all dead. Then with the help of a bear trap and a stray Molotov, I was able to take the bull guy out with ease. I'm dying, help me. For the double chainsaw part, they were dead before they even spawned. Now is really time for the hardest part of the run, the big cheese. I thought this boss would be easy, but boy was I wrong. Just to give you an idea of how long this took, I have over 4 hours of footage for just this boss. I tried reloading my save and redoing the previous parts until I got the best drops I could, and I still didn't have enough ammo. So I finally caved, I used the knife. Luckily I only had to use it once, so it wasn't that bad. Then I finally arrived at the castle. Nothing really happened until I got to the most iconic room in all of RE4, Water Room. And it actually wasn't that bad. I ended up just luring them through this door and spamming saves until they were all dead. But nothing could prepare me for the next part, protecting Ashley. This has to be one of the most aggravating things I have ever done. Combined with being harassed with these goobers on the ground made this the worst part of the run. 
I eventually got past it by mining the door closest to Ashley every time one would blow up. Nothing interesting happened in the maze other than dog abuse. I then took Ashley to the best rated restaurant in the castle. Wasted more ammo than I needed to, but this allowed me to cross the bridge and skip this room entirely. And then Ashley made this part way harder than it needed to be, so I just left her to die and fought some knights. This wasn't too bad because Ashley was actually useful for once and kept stunning them. Since Ashley is a time traveler and already knew the clock puzzle solution, it was pretty easy. Bullshit. That's how I feel. Total fucking bullshit. Once I was back with Leon, I completely forgot that I had this mod downloaded, which made an already annoying room even worse. This was due to them being pretty much invisible, but after I found out where to shoot them, I got through without losing too many bolts. I eventually arrived in the sewer and met Verdugo. This was easy and just involved me running around and dodging him until the elevator arrived. The double gigante fight was slightly annoying just because for some reason the armored one kept coming after me instead of Louise. After running and getting slapped around, I finally got the other to follow me and made quick work of him and his friend followed. The lift was kind of difficult, but after I was able to kill the red boys to stop them from transforming the other enemies, it wasn't too bad. Then it was time for Ramen Sizzler. This is the only time I could actually recommend the bolt thrower in a normal playthrough, assuming you don't have to go early. This is because if you hit his weak point with a mine, it stuns him. This leaves him open to a knife attack, which made this fight very easy. After taking all my mines and my entire knife, he was finally dead. The enemies I was dreading the whole playthrough was the regenerators, due to not being able to one-shot their weak points with the sniper. At first I tried to use the mine round to see if it would expose the weak points, but that wasn't the smartest idea because all I did was let out the squad. Luckily I found a solution to this by using the biosensor scope to see the weak points and making him snake back and forth over the wall until he was dead. After placing a mine at the door to try to kill some of the enemies when they spawned, I ran around until the card was done. Other than almost getting blown up by dynamite a couple times, this room was pretty easy. For the wrecking ball part, I tried to just run around and dodge the enemies while I actually broke the wall. This was going well and I was able to kill all but two of them, which allowed me to just sit on top of this container. This was until more started to spawn out of nowhere and eventually I got got. After this, I decided to try to blow up the wall with my rounds and it actually worked, making this really easy. For Krauser, I tried to kill him without the knife at first, but after an hour of trying, I just kept running out of ammo for the second phase. I ended up just using the knife for the first part of the fight and spamming mine rounds for the second. After clearing the turret for Mike, it was time for the hardest section of the island. I ran to the turret as fast as I could and cleared out the initial wave of enemies. After clearing them out, I pulled the first lever and killed as many enemies on the other side as I could before going to the next lever. This room could have gone better, but I was just happy it was over. The next part was a breeze because I befriended a cow and he sacrificed himself so that I could get through. Now it was finally time for Salad Man himself. Luckily I had enough mine rounds saved up which made this boss very easy. I just kept shooting them at his weak spot until he summoned his army of cows. This would make it a bit more difficult, but not by much. They would mostly just die from the mines that I was shooting at him or from friendly fire. I ran out of ammo for the second part of the fight, but luckily I just had to wait out the timer until I was able to get the rocket. Tired of playing with your ass. Today your ass is going to die. Say goodnight, motherfucker. I got on the jet ski, did a couple flips, and then it was finally over. So can you be RE4 Remake on Pro using only the bow thrower? Well, yes. While I don't recommend it for your sanity's sake, it is possible. Thank I would have liked to not me. use the knife at all, and definitely could have, Thank but you. it would have made it take way longer than it you already know, did. This is a new I style of video as well as my dad. first time doing a voiceover for a video, detail? but I thought I'd give it a shot. Please let me know how I did and what you I can do better. Me. And if there are any you other challenges you would like to see, whether it's in RE4 or, or any other game, lesson, please leave them in the comments. Other than that, thank you for watching. Condor 1? Roost to Condor 1, do you read me? Come in! I said come in, is this thing even on? Leon! 
Leon, are you and Ashley all right? Where are you? Come on! Good work. You wanna see me take a shit? Huh? Here. Oh, you thought I was gonna let you see me take a shit? Well, you're wrong.